All right, this is a brief tutorial about trimming a poly surface, in particular, trimming a closed poly surface and keeping it closed. Uh, this is particularly important for things like 3D printing, where you need a closed uh, mesh in the end, um, and you want to retain that closed volume. Okay, and the approach that I'm going to take here is I want to trim this to um, be contained within a one foot by one foot uh, square. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that 12 inches by 12 inches and I'm going to position that here uh, within my volume or within the uh, footprint of my volume and uh, what I'm going to do is convert that into geometry that I can use to trim. So I'm going to extrude this and make sure that it, well, I'm going to resize it now to uh, make sure that it is contained within, or that it intersects with all of my geometry. So, uh, let's see, I'll do this. So now it, it intersects with my geometry on all four sides. Uh, and that's important for a clean cut. Now you can do multiple cuts, um, but uh, you're going to want to be careful uh, in each stage to make sure that your volume, the resulting volume is closed. So just to demonstrate how trim the trim command will result in, uh, well, how it will trim your volume and the result, I'm just going to use the trim command, click on my cutting object, which is my new extrusion, and when I hit enter, uh, then I want to select the part that I want to trim. So if I trim this off, it does a pretty good job. Uh, the problem is that once I delete my extrusion here, now I just have two surfaces because it trimmed off the sides and didn't replace them. So um, one way to deal with this is simply now to use the resulting geometry to trim your extrusion geometry. And, and use that to um, plug the holes in your model. So I can use the split command for that and I want to split my extrusion geometry and I want to split it using the top and bottom surfaces that I just trimmed. And when I hit enter, the result, oops, I, sorry, I selected that as cutting geometry. So start over, objects to Split is this, cutting objects this, and my other surface, hit enter. Okay, so now my extrusion geometry is split and I can delete the parts that I don't want. And now I have my uh, the part of my extrusion geometry that's left. And when I grab the other two surfaces that are the result of the previous trim command, I can join them. And the result you can see is a closed poly surface. So that's one approach. It's pretty simple. Another approach would be to use Boolean logic. So I'm going to undo my trimming operations here and go back to just my rectangle. Now, uh, this rectangle uh, I can use pretty simply to do this um, by offsetting it. And I'm going to offset it and make sure that my offset distance is outside all of my geometry here. It's not critical uh, because you can always delete any leftover geometry. Uh, in fact, I'll do it that way just to show you what happens. So I'm going to just extrude, um, sorry, offset my rectangle uh, by whatever that was, 0.9 inches. And now um, I'm going to extrude both of those lines instead of just the one. And when I do that, um, previously when I extruded these, my uh, rectangle, I had uh, solid turned off. So now I'm going to turn solid on so that it's going to create a closed poly surface. And, and then I also, uh, just to uh, make things a tad simpler. I'm, uh, I'm going to turn on both sides so that I can go ahead and make sure that I'm encompassing all of my geometry here. All right, so now that I've done that, you see I have this um, 
rectangle now that is a uh, kind of an offset surface or an offset volume. And now I'm going to use the uh, Boolean uh, commands, particularly Boolean difference, to subtract this extruded geometry from my original geometry. So I'm going to select my original geometry first, there, and then I want to subtract this extrusion geometry. All right, so now you can see the result uh, has these leftover pieces because it subtracted that extrusion geometry, and my extrusion geometry didn't encompass those pieces. But all of these are going to be closed polysurfaces. So I can just delete the ones that I don't need, and we're back to that closed polysurface that was the result of the previous trim and split operation that I uh, demonstrated. Thanks for watching.